after the Yankees and Red Sox and all the talk in the offseason coming into the year. The Yankees the favorite in the division. Bigger picture, the Red Sox have certainly outplayed. We know the Yankees aren't totally healthy, but Boston, too early for a statement game, but they certainly have shown that they're a team to contend with, not only for the division, but maybe in the big picture. With that rotation, the way they've been pitching, and that offense and that athleticism they show on both sides of the baseball, this is a postseason team. They're fired up. They circled this ball game, and to be able to hit the Yankees in their mouth, so to speak, mm -hmm. especially beating up on their ace, that's that can send the shock waves throughout the league. That this is a team that's for real that can dethrone the Houston Astros. Well, and I think a lot of people got excited with the Yankees when they acquired Stan. Right? We're all enamored with power, and that's there's power on the offense. There's power mm -hmm. arms out of the bullpen. The reality is, if you're talking about athleticism, if you're talking navigating through a lineup and, and having to, to really pitch to a team. Boston provides a lot of issues, okay. and they can beat you in a bunch of different ways. And, but, you know, we talked about it earlier. If there's a team to rival Houston in the American League, I mean, I, I know I said it was going to be Boston. I think Don Trell said it was going to be Boston. Now, I don't know what the big hurt said. He might have said, I don't know what he, he might have said. Socks. Four or five. Somebody, Somebody, Socks. Socks. Entirely. Uh, by the way, I said Otani. The Angels didn't need him tonight. He's about to pinch hit, even though they have that big lead. We'll take you out there and show you that uh, with the Angels. But I did want to ask you about Stanton, who has been struggling with the strikeout. Did have a couple of hits tonight. H how would you pitch him right now? Or what are pitchers talking about what they've seen of him in pinstripes? They saw the scouting report, and they saw the home runs that he hit in New York off sliders. And that helps the bat head catch out front. Now, you know you caught some balls out front, too. So that as a left-handed pitcher, you're going to rush him and speed up his bat. So then you can go to the slider down in the zone. And especially with Chris Sale having a nasty one, he wants to set up his pitches. But Chris Sale didn't need that, especially with his high velocity today, especially how cold that was. Nobody was catching up to 97, especially up top. 16 pitches, 14 fastballs tonight. Well, and, and that's the thing. When you've got a dominating fastball and you're throwing to a hitter that is struggling, I mean, that opens up the whole strike zone. Right. And you can do a lot of different things. Because, Stan, look at the reality is, as great as he is, as physical as he is, between the ears, yeah. everybody's going to struggle. <laughs> and that's right. the big battle playing baseball. Real quick, last year he hit, what, 59 homers around 280. What does he have to hit? Average-wise, what do you think he has to hit? What do you think he will hit in New York this year? I think 35-40. That lineup, he's still going to be pitched to. And they're right. going to have... And he's a very shrieky hitter. So, I mean, 270. I'd be surprised if he hits under 270. I would. I really in would. In this day and age, batting average doesn't matter. Okay. Right? It's all about it the home matter. run. They, no, want they want Adam done. They want Adam done. They want, they want him to get on base and just create... Create havoc in that line. 40 yeah. home runs, though. 40. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have Aaron Judge, of course. All right, let's uh, check in on some news before we get back to the highlight. You had some thoughts. Obviously, they missed Justin Turner. He's one guy, but a lot of energy he brings. And it's uh, early in that lineup affecting things. I think the bullpen, too, has been a concern. I, I mean, look, for me, the, the first part of this season, not going to be, be concerned with the Dodgers. I'm not going to be concerned about the offense. I'm not going to be concerned about the wins. The only thing that raised a bit of a, I'm going to say yellow flag, okay. was, was Kenley Jansen and right. some of the struggles early on and, you know, the velocity. But his last two outings, he, think, he put that to rest. I mean, he was thrown back in the mid-90s, looked dominant. For me, the Dodgers, look, at, they're going to do things differently. They're going to have different lineups. Kike Hernandez is going to hit fourth. You know, they're going to mix and match. But they're going to be fine, and they will win the West and they will be in the postseason. I mean, up until that highlight, Taylor and Seager had no home runs with yeah. Puig combined, so I was a little concerned about the power. They're missing the Red Baron in that lineup, especially how late he got hurt. But for me, they started the top. They were huge for that lineup. They, they put pressure on the starting pitcher. You saw that, to where they can put speed on the bases as well as ambush you and hit the ball out of the ballpark. They get going, the ball club's definitely going to get going. Yeah, and the only real threat in the division, realistically, would be the Diamondbacks, in your opinion? Well, for me, it's the Diamondbacks. There are a lot of people that, you know, want to go JD off the Fool board. Out. They got J.D. Fool out. They got J.D. Fool out. Well, they, yeah. I mean, that's it. But a lot of people, the, the trendy pick was Colorado. Colorado's going to win the division. And there were a lot of baseball players people that which I, I just don't see I don't see it happening this year and look at our resident homer here Anthony Masterson who <laughs> loves the Rockies loves the Rockies right yeah. he's, he's, he's even acknowledged it, it might not be their year you know so that I know I'm on the right 
Road. Road, Road. He's Mr. Yeah. Rocky. Yeah. Anthony yeah. is our, our researcher here. But the, the Dodger team, in terms of you know how they do things down there, they're also a team that can make a trade at the deadline, right, if, if they need to, if they're in a position for the – because last year, it's not just about getting to the postseason for them. You know, it's the World Series. It's well, they, have, they have depth in the rotation. They have depth everywhere. They just have to make sure that their stars are healthy and playing at top form. Clayton Kershaw's velocity has been down a little bit. He's 90 to 92. You want to see him 92 to 94. But still, they need to have health. Health is wealth in that locker room. If they're able to get the reps, they all should be fine. It's a talented ball club. I, I, I was going to say, there's, there's really one guy that is, you, you can't replace, and that's the guy at the end of the ball game. And that's Kenley Chance, Jansen. Right. Yeah, you just, finally got you just don't have yeah. anybody. And not to say that you won't miss, you know, look at Kershaw is yeah. one of the greatest pitchers ever. I'm not saying you would. But Kenley Jansen, if the, he's not there, I'm not sure that they have options right now. To close it out. Yeah, yeah. his last mm -hmm. few outings at least have been better.